Hey everybody, Radovan here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 36 of Kenshi. So I wanted to go over some stuff that I did off camera. I didn't actually play off camera, but I imported this game, or I imported my save game into a new game because I was starting to accumulate bugs. Um, I noticed this particularly, there was a lot of duplicate vendors, but then when the last time I was on, in Squin at the plate, the armor vendor, there were three of them. Uh, importing your game allows you to sort of refresh your save game file so that you don't accumulate bugs that are crippling. So that's uh, something that it did. One of the side effects is all of the fogmen I was hauling over here are no longer being hauled. Actually, they no longer exist at all. So that is one of the unintended consequences. So the strength training regiment that I was currently in is gone. One of the positive side effects is my scrap house vendor bugged out. Previously, I had roughly, uh, I don't know, maybe 13 books at this scrap house to sell. And now I have zero. Uh, they sort of disappeared. So one of the wonderful th side effects is I can go back to the scrap house and buy some good stuff. And then also off camera, I installed two more mods. So if I go into my options, mods loadout, as you can see, I have the removed weather effects, nice map and dark UI that I've been running. Uh, I've been running dark UI almost forever. Nice map and remove weather effects have been running for a while. Remove weather effects uh, makes it tolerable to live in the fog islands. Otherwise, it's just like pure fog and there's nothing to look at. The two other mods I added, let's talk and better crop fences. Better crop fences is pretty straightforward. It puts crop fences... Uh, it puts fences on my crops. Yes, my plots are a little floating here. Um, I did that myself, but I like to see the fences. From a distance, it doesn't look wrong. And then Let's Talk allows you to have multiple unique conversations uh, over and over and over again, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so instead of certain conversations only played once, um, which potentially is a little boring, um, characters will talk multiple times uh, the same sort of conversations. So what I'm going to do right now is to send Rotamant over to, where am I going? Over to the scrap house to buy some new stuff. Then I have to set up a lot of the jobs that I currently had going that got kind of screwed up because of the import, and that's fine. Um, I'm going to have import problems a bunch. Uh, this is not the first time, but this, uh, every time you do it, you sort of refresh and lower the chance of, you know, bad bugs sort of accumulating. So I'm putting the guys back to work. Now, some of these guys like Rumble John. I can put to sleep, Hobbs, and I'll have them all idle until I need them next. They're all getting back to work. Bard, you were working on item furnace engineering, hauling to the iron and refinery. We're out of current resource for this. I do need to start to get automatic mining. Uh, one of the big things is, and I received a lot of comments regarding squad size. People say, oh, you should add more people. There is a, at least in vanilla Kenshi, a hard limit of 30. Now, I can increase the amount of combat people I have by automating more of the functions of the base and therefore allowing for more people to be used in combat. That's something I intend to do, but... Uh, for me to do that, I need to obviously get some more um, more tech, ancient science books, and ideally I would like to get automatic stone mining and automatic uh, ore drilling or semi-automatic ore drilling, uh, all very, very, very expensive research. Uh, there's actually one automatic mining tech that costs an AI core. Now I might be able to go to the scrap house and buy AI cores now that I've imported my game. They were on sale before, I just didn't take advantage of them immediately. 
And then they disappeared through a bad import, but I have reverted that bad import, so we're back to possibly having them. Strike here, why aren't you... Ah, because I don't have any plating. Oop, that's a little pathing bug there. Let's just ignore the fact that that bugged out. So all of my haulers are probably, yep, they are all standing around. And I can dump out the stuff I brought. I like how I just cut those chase. Spare me the upselling. I love that. Uh, let's go ahead and buy some armor plating and iron plates. And Sadniel Wike. Who else is here? Stubbs. Stubbs doesn't have much to sell. I mostly encumbered him by putting bows on him. Hamut. Beep. Silver. Green's not down here. Uh, burn Voth. Okay, is that everything? Oron has some stuff to sell as well. Actually, let me go to Oren real quick. Just hang on a minute, Oren. I have a bunch of copper that you're going to bring over here to sell. He's not... Oh, also, the, the fog heavy that I had is gone. Uh, that's fine. I have bigger, better plans for that anyway. All right, send all these guys home. Make sure Ranamont is still moving. He is. We are going to be able to train some good stuff here, like lock picking. The assassination dummies are require some more leather. Actually, stubs. Could I have you turn around real quick and see if they are selling any leather? Getting those built up would be quite nice. Griffin is actually crafting leather right now. And then I did say I wanted to go for a bounty. And I haven't forgotten that promise. Uh, I, in fact, intend to. Okay, you have barely any leather. I would love to be able to put some more armor on my hivers. Uh, but I think I'm going to end up crafting it instead. Alright, take a bird's eye view. Oh, Radamont's already like halfway to the scrap house. And here is some of the conversations I was talking about. If you're ever wondering, because I obviously just missed that conversation, uh, you can always go to dialogue and they were talking... Actually, they weren't really talking. Beep just spoke an ellipsis for... I don't, I don't know why. Ooh, are you guys? No. Oh, you are a Fog Prince. Aha. Uh -huh. I have bad news. You are in the wrong neighborhood. Are they two of them? Nope. The other one's a heavy. Five heavies and a prince. Always be on the lookout if you're near the Fog Islands because these princes... Oh, already got his head. Are worth a pretty penny. In fact, if I recall correctly, we do have a prince head to sell back at the base, which I never grabbed. Green can probably grab it. I think it was in... Yep, here it is. 
and the ninja blade associated with that. Hopefully we're getting through our hemp. I can't wait to automate that. Uh, green, you probably need... Oh, right, right. You have different clothing because... Because you use crossbows primarily. Alright, so we're getting green to go sell the head. And I could grab these heavies to spar with, but I think I have a better sparring partner idea uh, queued up in my brain. Molly is working on the best katanas I can make, which is very, very cool. I'm excited about that. Oron's being chased. Oh, that's not cool. Alright, obviously I'm going to have to send this prince killing party down to Oron to help out. Because he can't take on out all of them by himself. How encumbered are you? How slow? Oh yeah, your run speed is actually really decreasing given that you have a leg injury. So I'm gonna put him on block and hold, or actually just block, which is a self-preservation um, stance. That keeps him alive longer. Oh, and some scrawny cannibal is trying to steal beep. That's just not gonna fly. I'm going to send the three robots over to Oron now. So Oron will get carried away if if I don't. Oh, Jesus, there's a whole lot of scrawny cannibals here. All right, Mew, Crumble, Infinite. Rain, you're all needed out here. Griffin, too. I have to keep in... Where? Beep is, like, underground right now? Where is Beep? I don't really exactly know where Beep is. Hamet, could you pick up Beep? Thank you. He was underground. Okay, Voth just got knocked out. Yep, we're going to need backup. And Oron is going to need backup. Actually, Oron's doing a decent job of keeping... Upright, but these skeletons will help out. And I'll have green take a pit stop and start shooting. Alright, so now Oron has a little bit of backup. We'll take him off a block. Back to... Stubbs was... I don't know what Stubbs is doing, but Stubbs fight. So Voth and Silvershade are going to be... Oh, Voth is only unconscious for another second or two. Same with Silver, I think. Yep. You could tell by their, like, sort of twitching. And backup is coming. This sort of spiraled into a fight I did not expect. Alright, Silvershade is up. Nope, unconscious again. Hamet... A total badass fighting off a swarm. Actually, same with Stubbs here, too. Alright, let's go help let's attack these scrunnies. Oron is like, I must fight. Oron, you could probably just, you know, take a knee. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Radamon's still on his way. Griffin, it does not look like... He broke... You Griffin probably turned around. No, no, he didn't. Okay. So I'm just making sure Hobbs... Oh, Hobbs is R&R. &R. He's so far out of the fight, I'm not even going to worry about him. By the time he gets to where he needs to be... That does not look like a healthy leg right there. Uh, but by the time he gets to the fight, it's going to be over. He's going to show up and be like, I won! Plant a flag and... Yeah, we don't need that. All right, where is Silver? Oh, Silver's upright. Okay. The ones that are really wor wounded, I'm going to have be on Super Block. I'm going to go steal these guys 
and put them where they're needed. Because, oh, that whole fight is over. Well, at the very least, uh, I might not get the bounty done this episode, but this episode has not been boring. Right from the start, I have limbs flying and lots of combat. Beep. Beep's just wounded, so I can put him down. He uh, came to. Now we just have a lot of patching up to do. But that's... That's good. I like combat. Alright, the robots are headed back to... Mine. All this is quite disorganized. So, orange and green are going to limp their way to the... Oh, Jesus, that's real slow. Who here has a splint kit? Stubbs does. Let's make splinting a permanent job for Stubbs and have Stubbs head to Oron to help him out. Actually, we'll splint anyone that needs splinting up here. We might... Uh, yep, Silver needs splint. Beep needs splinting. Where are you going now? Okay, your goal is to engineer. Alright, let's go splint some more. Fog Prince dead. Uh, who picked up the head? Hummet did. Okay, Hummet, go to these guys because you're going to trade that head in. Everyone else go home and rest up. And those who are rested can train. Oh, I saw you twitch. <laughs> Look at how Crumble runs. Oh, he twitched and fell right back over. Really? Is that all the splinting you're going to do? It doesn't really look splinted. You guys go to cell, and you return back to Roddenhall. So if you're wondering about these squad names, uh, I'm waiting for the Patreon patrons to come up with some names. And then once they come up with some names, we'll have a new poll to name the two squads that we have. The sort of non-combat squad and the combat squad. Let's go ahead and get... Oh, some bandits are coming. Nice. Well, what's really cool about that is... Uh, I'm going to have some crossbows pointed at the door. So... They're going to get uh, shot up a bit. So if we hit M... Oh, I don't know where they are yet. Uh, if you're wondering about your current demands, upcoming events... Here it is, Dust Bandits. They're coming to Radenhall to demand some stuff. Um, I'm not very fond of the Dust Bandits. So that kind of makes sense that they'd be showing up. Okay, let's get all of our wounded sort of um, healed up. Anyone that's not wounded will start to train. You are super wounded. Uh, 
I do need to distribute the crossbows that I have, but that's going to wait a little while. Where is Griffin? Oh, you're making leather. That's fine. Crumble. You can rest. Mew. You can rest. Bard and Molly are workers. If Molly's standing here, it means she's made a katana. Yep, she has. And you're not making more katanas because uh, you're out of plates. Who had the plates? Sadniel had some plates. And some armor plating. Burn had some plates. This will put Molly back to work, at least. Let's go check them. Oron, you guys are headed to trade. Um... Hummet should be the one that goes inside, or they won't trade with me. I just need green and orange nearby. All right. I bet you hivers would love to buy some prince heads. They're not too fond of one another. And then green was down here, too. Uh, these swords are the same. I'm going to buy a generator core. I'm going to start stockpiling two generator cores because the generator cores are... I'm actually going to buy these urns too. The generator cores are super, super heavy. They're six tiles sized and 20 kilograms. They're, they're unbelievably massive and uh, a very, very good way to strength train later on. All right, you guys run back home. Who's still out here? Uh, who would that be? Wing Wing and Ruka. Oops. Have you go back home too? I like how they're like getting up and toppling right back over. Because of lack of blood. Oh, I'm being chased. Oh, by... They're actually not attacking me. They're just abducting bodies. That also means, because they're grabbing the scrawny cannibal bodies, it means that there will be a prince nearby. But I might not headhunt for the prince. I do have bandits incoming. And I have a pretty... I'm, I'm not worried about the bandits, but... I might want not want to send my squad out to fight bandits if... Uh, I mean, squat out to hunt princes if I'm about to get banditted. Alright, Weeke and Sadniel. Get you back on iron. Burn, get you repaired. So these guys are the... Oh no, see, here's a prince group right here. Heading to the feast... But I am still waiting for the bandits. I also probably wouldn't be able to catch that prince. He's uh, functionally long gone. Green's being targeted by... Yeah, they're going to outrun me, so... Oron, you can fight, so let's put you down. He just had a bum leg. Oh, green's down. How many are you going to have to solo this yourself? No, we're not. Okay, it was a chest wound, so no issues there. Actually, maybe Hamet is better off picking up Oron. 16, 19, yeah, that's a little bit better. It's a little bit faster. We'll walk together, just in case we get waylaid again. Alright, Rodamont says he's aimless. Does that mean he's in the scrap house? No, it just means he's standing, standing around. 75% acid protection, I should be alright. Should not be that much of an issue. Uh, robots repair real quick. Burn. Let's start iron mining. 
Ooh, our first assassination dummy. Getting that leather out. Checking everyone's inventory to make sure no one has anything they really ought not to. Except for the ones that aren't home. Okay, so Hamit got here. Let's have him dump off the plating and heal. Ruka got here. Oh, uh, no. Uh, who was it? Oron got here. And dump off the iron plates. And he beat Hamit to bed. <laughs> and then green with the generator core. And these pearl stuff, I think, is required later on. I, if I'm wrong, I'll just resell it. It's not a big deal. Uh, we do have a nicer katana, but green, you're going to need to heal too. If the skeletons are being targeted... Oh, yeah. It's a little fogman raid. I'm just going to close the gate. And they're going to go away. Where are the dust bandits? I bet the dust bandits hit a bunch of fogmen and they're like not even able to get here. Uh, it says they're still coming. Alright, there's some annoying little mosquitoes hovering around. Let's see if we can't snipe them. I know the crossbows aren't exactly aimed at the right direction. Oh yeah, here we go. Yep. Oh, we just sniped one through the wall, killed it immediately, and then Bard picked it up to, uh, to, to cut him up. So as you can see here, uh, let's see these in, oh yeah, see, bolt in progress, boom, oh, just hit another one. And while they're trying to bash the door down, Griffin is trying to repair it, keeping that door up. Oh, this one lost both arms, so he's fleeing. This one just lost a limb as well. What's funny is that they managed to bust the gate open. And then they, like, ran. They're like, yay, we made it through. Oh, they're going to try to abduct people. So I'm just going to get them engaged. Because anyone sleeping is going to get potentially kidnapped, which is annoying. Well, Pingu and the robots won't allow that. Ooh, that's a heavy hit. And although Griffin and Bard are on the wrong side of the gate, eh, let's open this gate again. Eh, we'll just repair it. Bard is putting their limbs away. I'm really thinking these dust bandits never made it. All right, run them on. Ooh, maybe they're right here. Yep, yeah, there they are. Cool. Well, I already have the um, Griffin get on the correct side of this gate. Nope, stop, stop, stop. Okay. They want to come in? They can come in. Griffin, are you set to, like, pacifism or something? Why aren't you fighting? Bard's gonna get mowed over here. Alright, let's go! Wonder if their leader has a mini bounty on his head. Here's the war leader, Dust Boss. No, no bounty. I have no idea why they would attack me. They are outclassed. Hardcore. I'm not even using my, um, not even using my giant cr crossbows pointed at them. Who needs it, right? Splat. All right, wing wing. I'm sure there's some, like, decent stuff on them. Maybe I'll just loot the dust boss. Yeah, they've been defeated.
the dust boss the bosses always have slightly better stuff than the rest of them but also i wanted to get crossbows on all of my humans so this is a good way to do it just get shoddy crossbows off the bowman here's the dust boss um Slightly better stuff, maybe. Barely. Yeah, no, it's not much better. Uh, let's just... It's also part, not part of our uniform, so we'll put it away. Speaking of uniform, we have some more... Uh, some jackets that are better. Okay. I think we're all healed up. I'm gonna just top up the robots. Not that it will take very long. Put everyone to sleep. Oh, someone must have gotten back up. I guess Griffin has a job, so I'll leave him unrested. I wonder how Pengu fared. Oh, a little banged up, but not that bad. Pengu needs to make following Jafar a full-time job, which I just did. Jafar is healing, though. He got a little chopped up in that fight. All right, Radamont's melting from the rain. So let's take shelter. He must have been hit. I'm glad he's not dead. He must have been really walloped by something out there. Because all of my limbs should be at 96. And he's a lot lower. Um, so I definitely lucked out there. Sending him without me watching the whole time. Okay, so I have 29,000. Scrolling down, they have AI cores. And research books. So I'm going to buy an AI core. Map of the Ashlands, I can't afford. I can buy one research book. Oh, no, I can't even buy one. I'm going to have to go on a selling trip back home. Um, there is no beds here, is there? And of course I don't have meds with me. You know, that would be smart. Apparently I'm not very smart. So let's... Instead of passing out from blood loss, let's get Radamont into town. Try to see if we can't buy... Oh, maybe it was this damn spider that chopped me up. Sorry, Iron Spider. I know you wanted to fight me, but I just killed you. Sometimes the spiders wander in. Uh, what is this building? Uh... Obviously not someone that wants to trade with me. Okay, bar. Please have some first aids. No, of course, of course not. Uh, hello. We have beds. Not a great way to heal myself, but it's better than nothing. Obviously having meds would be a lot better. I am tempted to sort of lockpick my way in, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, we need more beds. We need two additional beds. So, interior beds. So we got the building material, and we should have the fabrics pretty soon. And then, after that, what I ought to do... Oh, more armor. Green probably needs this. No, green does not. Uh, is this specialist grade needed by anyone? Yes, by Griffin. 
Griffin, I think, might be the last one. Let's check. Oh, we need one more, two more, just two. Yeah, just two. Not bad, not bad, getting close. All right, Miss Hotlongs, I think I'm going to reassign you. I have no idea what I want you to do. I'm you mine copper for profit. Okay, so we're not going to bleed out. That bit's good. Oh, actually, hot longs. Work the hemp loom. We have a lot of hemp. In fact, we have too much hemp. In fact, where are you, Jafar? I'm going to need you to bag some of this stuff. My general stockpile is filling up, filling up with hemp. We really, really, really need to start processing it more. Uh, Silver, you here don't... I'm going to send you on errands. Um, hmm. But I need a backpack for you. Ruka has a backpack for you. I want to make a little bit more money so I can send Radamont home. Wooden sandals aren't going to sell for anything, but the other stuff will. Oh. Oh, howdy do. We have some katanas now. Silver shade. How about you grab one of these? These are going to be really, really useful. And then... Sad Neil, just because you're awake and up, you'll grab one. Wow, that is a terrible weapon that I've burned using. Actually, weak A2. We'll give... All of our tanks, some katanas. All right, silver shade. Let's see if we can't deposit some of this stuff to free up room. For hauling more of these weapons. And then, Mr. Silver. Oh, no one's going to buy from you. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a problem. Miu, you're going to have to accompany Mr. Silver. Just waiting for these guys to die out. So we can put them, melt their bodies or whatever we do. I think I need a medical crate because Chung's not going to make any more meds. This is sort of a catch-22. So what I'll do instead is I'll make this medical crate. But then I'll turn off... Ugh, I don't... Eh. No, I don't... I don't I don't want this. Because the problem is, if I put that out, everyone will put their medical supplies away. So it's more annoying to micromanage one dude rather than all of them. Oh, Chung, you have good armor. Because I'm actually looking to make some money on Rodamont, what I'll do is all of the farmers are going to give up their current armor. And uh, we'll aim to make them a set later on. So, citizens, Mew. Gonna have Mew come back. And pick up some additional armor. And that will keep, that will allow Radamon to make some quick trades and head home. 
Where are you, Mew? She's probably all the way there. All right, last bed is done. Here you are. All right, burn. Has a bag for you. These specialists I'm going to keep. Uh, who needed it? Hobbs needed it. No. Hamut. Crumble. Crumble needed one. Hang on, Mew. I don't know what you're doing. And anything in here worth selling? Not really. You know, I'm going to go ahead and sell the arm. Because right now I need the money more than the arm. And eventually I'll need the arm more than the money. So that arm is worth a lot. Okay, we're still out of fabrics. But that's probably because we just made a bed. Mew's getting targeted. Unfortunately, it's not a prince group. She's also really fast runner, so I'm not all worried at all. Now they have prosthetics here as well. I'm just going to keep healing up on Radamont until I have something to sell. Alright, here we go. Time to roll in the money. Can you afford this? Yeah, they can afford it. All right, they can't afford anything else. So Mew and Silver, you're going to have to hit up. Well, uh, let me see if I, there's anything I want to buy. I'll buy the leather. I'll buy the iron plates and armor. And I'll try to sell again. Yep, this will work. Almost. I don't need to send both of them. So Mew here is just going to go into Mongrel. And Silver can go home. It's weird having that red dot back home. It's just because I haven't burned all the bandit bodies. There's one bandit left. Who wants to find and rescue his leader? Good luck with that. So I don't think anyone's going to bother trying to enslave the robots. They're just not likely targets for enslavement. So I'll start to train the lockpicking with... Uh, and then green will get you to train blades. Oh, you're almost maxed out training. That's good. Silver's back with some plates and some leather. Where was the leather storage? There it is. And Silver, you train on the turrets. Okay. So, we really need a patch. He needs to patch himself up, but... At this very moment, there's not a lot of meds around here. Uh, we'll have to go to... I'm going to go back to the scrap house, do the selling, and then seek medis medical supplies as soon as I can. I really should have brought it. I don't know why I didn't. 
the good news is we have a lot more money for books. So I'm going to stick around for a little bit longer. God, they really don't have med kits here. They must, really. They don't. I guess they really, really don't. I'm, I'm actually pretty surprised. And I'm not surprised they're a bunch of robots. So Mew, you better get to where you're going quick. Radamont only has a limited amount of blood that he can wait for you to get trading. But, wow, time flies, man. They really do. Uh, so I'm out of time, um, just about. So thank you all for watching. I really am sorry that I didn't manage the bounty, but we managed to... I, You know what? Actually, I take that back. I did a prince bounty, didn't I? I did two of them. I turned two of their heads in, so at least that's something. Uh, what I plan on doing is trying to get the Dust King, uh, maybe next episode, now that we're starting to roll out better katanas and everyone has specialist armor, just about, and, uh, with Dust King, we'll also be a very good, instead of turning him in as a bounty, we will use him for training purposes. So, if you have any questions for me, feedback, uh, tips, suggestions, anything like that, Drop me a line in comments, hop on Discord if you'd like to discuss, and I'll have to catch you all later. Thank you for watching, and adios.